Hello and welcome to this let's play of the Lord of the Rings living card game. Um, unfortunately I'm playing this solo because at the moment I'm Billy No Mates and left this to the last minute to record and no one else was available so uh, we'll try and persevere so you just got me but I am playing two separate uh, player cans. Um, I'm playing the uh, leadership deck. I've got a bit set up already, but I'm playing oh tactics deck even. And um, my heroes are for so that I've got just two Legolas and Gimli. And I am playing the what's it called the spirit deck, where my heroes are Erwin and Eleanor. I've set the threat levels uh, already. Uh, for my tactics, it's 20. And for, I've forgotten already what I'm playing. <laughs> this is going well. My uh, tactics 20, my spirit is 16 as a threat, initial threat. Uh, hardest bit about this was trying to figure out where I'm putting the camera. I ideally wanted it so you're facing what I'm seeing, but I either have, you either have my head in the way of the camera not good or the camera in the way of me so I've got the camera opposite me but hopefully I'm going to put, try and put most of the cards sort of try and facing you and threat levels facing you my heroes cards will probably face me for easy read but we'll we'll get by so we'll go to the setup first of all and just have a quick scan through I've, I've tried to do most of it so I shuffle the deck so if I shuffle my tactics deck here Shuffle my spirit deck. We got that. We've placed the hero, set the initial threat levels, done that. The token banks are all off camera in bags. Got that done. Determined first player, that's this here, and it's going to be my uh, tactics got, uh, hand going first. Uh, draw setup hand. Each player draws six cards from the top of his deck. So let's do this for the tactics. If we're unhappy with them, we can do a mulligan, but I'm probably not. So let's see what we got. We have Bjorn. We have Horseback Archer, Blade Mastery, which is an event. We have two allies, an event. Another event called Quick Strike. Another ally called uh, Gondorian Spearman, and another ally called uh, Horseback Archer. So that's my hand for Leadship Spirit. Do the same. Mm. Oh, right. Six. Cool. And what do we have? We have Will of the West, which is an event. Will of the West, which is an event. Uh, the Favor of the Lady, which is an attachment. Fortune of Fate, which is an event. Dwarven Tomb, an event. And Hasty Stroke, which is an event. So I don't know if that's going to be good or bad. We will find out. Next one is set quest cards. We are playing uh, the passage through Mirkwood. Um, uh, arrange cards in sequential order. So it's one, two, and you have two threes in this. Uh, with the stage one A should be on top. Boom. Done that. Uh, place the quest deck. The uh, quest deck near the encounter deck, which is here. I'll give this a quick shuffle. I've got, got all the cards, correct cards for this uh, scenario ready in here. So we'll shuffle with that, put that there. Uh, the back of the first uh, quest card sometimes refers to construction of snow. Follow these. Uh, yada yada. So let's. I'm going to keep this quite handy near me. I feel I'm going to need this. Um, so let's have a read of 1A. It's called, this uh, quest is called Flies and Spiders. You are traveling through Mirkwood Forest, carrying an urgent message from King Frenderil to the Lady Galadriel of Lorien. As you move along the dark trail, the spiders gather around you. Search the counter deck for one copy of the forest spider and one copy of the old forest road and add them to the staging area, then shuffle the encounter deck. Well, I'm glad I shuffled the encounter deck first because then I've got to do it again. Right, forest spider, 
Where are you, Forest Spider? King Spider, Forest Spider. And what was it? Old oh, Forest Road. Old oh, Forest Road. So we'll shuffle them like so. So we have already in the staging area. Put that there. We're going to have a location and an enemy in there already. That's good. Now we flip this over to 1B. I believe it says, doesn't it? Oh god, off to a good start. Well rehearsed. It's a place down there. Yeah, okay. Oh, no, we read 1B once we've completed it, so we don't flip it yet. Okay, round sequence. As hopefully if you've watched the video already on how to play, you'll see it's played in seven phases, which is resource, planning, quest, travel, encounter, combat, and refresh. In the resource uh, phase, we add one resource token to each of his hero's resource pools. So I have two heroes, so I have two resource pools, and because these are start decks, they're both the same resource pool. So we'll add a token for these and token for each of these. So it's going to make it somewhat easier. Planning phase now. Uh, oh, after clicking, we can draw one card from his, from our hand and add it to our hand. Uh, I don't think there's any size limit to the hand. And for our tactics, we've got Thicket of Spears, which is an event. And for our spirit, we've got an event called Light in the Dark. We'll add that to our and that's nice. Now onto the planning. Uh, okay, uh, it's only phase we can play ally and attachment cards from his hand. So that's what this is. Um, what we're going to do is we'll leave this here. So we'll go here to the first player, and really, I want to play. Uh, they each have a cost, which is here. So what I want to do. Is initially I because I want to get some so really only one can play is this Gondorian Spearman which is two so I am going to pay two resource tokens and get a Gondorian Spearman on the go for that because I want to try and ramp up my combat as much as possible and then we're gonna go to here uh, cancel a shadow effect. Yes, so attachment. So with this, this could be my quest. The spirit deck's going to help me do quests. This, my tactics, going to help me do combat naturally. So I'm going to pay two for this to get a condition, which is the favor of the lady attached to a hero. Hero gains plus one uh, willpower. So. Uh, we play an Eleanor who has one, or Erwin who has four, and she also has an ability where you can discard a card from your hand and get plus one. So that she could potentially have five. If I attach this to her, she'll have six. So I'm going to pay for this instantly. And I am going to do that. I'm going to attach that to her. So that's it. So now we're on the quest phase. Uh, it's where you make progress through your current stage of quest. The quest phase is broken into three steps. Commit characters, staging, and quest resolution. Uh, what we've got to do is on the quest, um, we do flip it over now, but we don't read this until the end, until we've completed it. But each quest has a number of tokens I need to get to complete it. Each, So that's eight, so I need to get eight up there. But these can also interfere with you. If I, I if I explore a location, but these each will also have a threat level, which at the moment will be free, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, <coughs> drink time, talking a lot. Um, okay. So I'm just going to commit. 
try and go in full bang. I don't know if this is why it's not. I'm going to commit all characters from oh, it's the first turn. So uh, I am not going to commit any characters to the quest on from this hand. So I move over to this one, and I'm going to commit air into the quest, and not with this because I'm still don't know if this is good tactics or not. So we're going to. Uh, Start with the first player, then proceed in clockwise until each player will commit as many characters as you'd like. After each player has had the opportunity to commit characters to the quest, so that's what I've done, I've committed her to the quest. I'm going to put Eowyn over here on the quest, like so. This known again, we're now on to staging. The encounter deck reveals one card per player. So this is our staging area, I don't think we can see it, so we've already got two cards in there. So we're going to do one for each player. So the first one is going to be another forest spider. Put that in the staging area. And the next one for the next player is another location. And this is the great forest web. So we'll put that there. So we have two locations and two enemies in the staging area. This doesn't have a when we just got to make sure they don't have when revealed signs on them. Which they don't. Otherwise, you have to resolve those straight away. Uh, anyway, location cards revealed to now place in the stage near a treachery card to remove straight away. Okay, cool. Quest resolution: the players compare their combined willpower of all committed characters against the combined strength in the staging area. So we've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, and. We have for five here, I can discard a card to get one here, which will be six. I kind of now wish I'd have done this. Uh, so basically, I've got four, five against, uh, what do we say, seven. Now, if the threat is higher, players have been unsuccessfully quested and driven back by the encounter. Each player must raise the threat dial by the amount which was different. So that's by two. So we've gone drastically wrong already. This gets to 50. We're game over. So that's nice. We failed. So she's now exhausted. She's there. I believe. Uh, so if it is equal to or greater we would have won so I could have won it but by not doing anything so that's great so now we're going to travel the players may travel to a group to one location in the staging area by moving it from the staging area and placing it alongside the current quest card causing it to become active location players can travel to only one location at a time the first player makes the final decision whether to travel so what we're going to do is they but we're probably going to travel uh, this has a threat of one but I need three quest points to complete it. This has a threat of two, but I only need two to complete it. But this has a travel condition, which is to travel here must exhaust one hero to travel there. So I think I want to travel here because it makes the threat less. So we're going to travel here and exhaust one player. So we're going to exhaust her. And I'm going to exhaust Legolas over here, like so. So that's, we now travel here, so we move it to the staging area. So its cost isn't added to this staging area here. So making it less. Now it's only worth five, which I think next time we can do. Hopefully, fingers crossed. But probably not. This has gone horribly wrong already, I feel. Um, yeah, cool. Um, great, so that's that. So we've travelled to the location and that's... We're here, so now we're on the counter phase. Uh, now we do player engagement, uh, which we can engage one enemy in the staging area, which is an optional thing. So we've, got, we've only got one, two enemies here. So or we can do engagement checks. So I've only got one hero here, so um, let's see what happens. 
what we do is we can compare our threat level against the engagement cost of each enemy in the staging area. So their engagement costs are this number here. It's 25. So if any are equal to or lower than our threat level, they'll engage us. So what I may do is... I may with Gimli, because none of these are going to engage to me, because uh, my threat level is 22, so they'll remain here. So I really want to get this threat down in here. So I'm going to engage a forest spider with Gimli. So I'm going to pull him down, and it goes here into Gimli's uh, play area. So we've optionally engaged to one. No other enemy is going to engage to us now. So. And we just keep doing it until all enemies in the staging area can engage players, but they can't at the moment because we're not that we're not that fretty, not that fretting. Uh, and of course, I'm rushing through this about looking at what my cards are. There could be there could have been some really cool stuff in here. I think what we're going to do is quickly sort through here. So we've got allies. Um. Not him there. Little enemy target. Um, or... have an ally here, which I didn't play. So we can't play them anyway because I'm just looking because I don't have any tokens to play them. But I'm just having a quick sort through events and allies. I'm just going to try and get a bit organised. Okay, so there it is. He's attacking Gimli like so. Right. As I'm probably getting a few things wrong here. I'm going to keep the book. So that's that. We're on to combat now. In the combat phase, enemies attack first. Uh, so what we're going to do is choose an enemy, which would be the forest spider, <coughs> declare the defender. Now, uh, I feel I'm going to defend with the Gondorian Spearman. One character can be declared the defender, but can go undefended. Resolve any shadow effects. Oh, that's it. Hang on, yeah, we've missed a thing. Uh, beginning combat phase, we deal one card from here, place it on top of the enemy, and that's going to be its shadow effect. So that's what we're going to do now. And this one doesn't have any shadow. There's some monsters will have, you can see it actually on the card itself. Underneath, you'll see this little bar with shadow. And if this card had that, we'd have to resolve that, but it doesn't. So there's no shadow effect. So I'm just going to put that into a discard pile. Resolve the combat damage. This is done by subtracting the defense of the defender against the attacking strength. Right, so, it is here. Its attacking strength is 2, my defense is 1. So this will do 1 damage. Uh, he only has 1, so he's instantly killed. So that's what that is. So he is now dead. So I'm going to put this in my player hand discard pile. Uh, and we repeat these steps for each enemy he is engaged with. So that I'm only engaged with one, so that is done. So now we move on to the attacking phase. So I'm going to attack with Gimli here. And we determine my our attack strength. My attack strength is two. Uh, his special rule, he gets plus one if he takes damage. Um, and here comes my cat, which is brilliant. I don't know if you can see him here. <laughs> my cat's just jumped on the table and he's probably going to walk all over it. Yeah, that's that's awesome. Okay, so we got a cat on the table who is now going to try and sit in the box, which is just off camera here, which is great. Anyway, where were we? 
So I'm going to attack with two. He has a defense of one, so he's going to take one damage. He has four hit points. I've not really thought this through. I think I'm going to die. So anyway, we put a thing on there, so he's dead. He's exhausted. And it's now the refresh phase. All cards, all, all exhausted cards ready, and the player increases their threat by one. So we've put all these back. Oh, they all come back. I don't really need to move her out today. I just did that as show that she was committed to that quest. So there's that. He's still engaged this forest spider, so we'll move that back. And that is where we stand at the moment. And we increase our threat by one. So that goes up to 23. This one goes up to 19. And then we start all over again. So it's the resource phase. So I'm going to get a token each. Like so, and draw a card. We've got our Gondorian Spearman back. Not the same one, it's a different one, so we put that in the yellow section. My cat burned away. <laughs> we get an event called A Test of Will. I think I've got. Do we have. No, we don't have that. Uh, no, we don't. So we have a lot of event cards in this hand at the moment. So now we're planning. So, um, yeah, I'm going to rebuy a Gondorian Spearman. It's cannon fodder, effectively. And what we're going to have here? No, don't want that. I don't want that. But I'm going to discard these. I'm going to use this to discard. So you have that. Don't really want that. That's a shadow effect. Yeah. So these are more. Okay, so we're going to keep keep those. I'm not going to play pay for those just yet. So, uh, so that's it. I'm not paying for anything for her. So that is it. There's no if there's an attachment here. So there's that. So we're back to uh, the quest phase. Now at the moment it's free, but there could be something else coming. So what I'm going to do is play Erwin and discard one of these, because her action is discard one card from your hand to give Erwin plus one to the end of this phase. This phase, this effect may be triggered by each player once per round. Makes sense. Now she's five, six. She is six, okay. So I'm going to commit her. To the quest, I think. Uh, staging, one card per player. So that's one of my cards. That's weird. That's in the wrong deck. That confused me. I'll just put that in there. My cat is holding on to the tokens. I wish I could show you this. Uh, so it's treachery. When revealed, deal one damage to each exhausted character. Ah, anyone that's exhausted is Erwin because she got committed. So there's that. But luckily, it doesn't go into here but we can let's have a quick look because I believe that it, I do have a card in here yes so I'm going to cancel that because I can now pay cost one <laughs> I can't be the best of camera so what this is response cancel the when effect uh, the when revealed effect of a card just that was just revealed from the encounter deck. So I'm going to pay one token to pay for this and cancel that effect so she doesn't take damage. So that's good. So our next card is it's a location. 
So it is first player must discard two cards to travel this uh, hand at random to travel here. So it's um, but unfortunately it's got a threat of three. So this is going to really mess me up now because it's six, and I think that's what we've got here at the moment because she's five and six. <clears throat> So any, this doesn't count towards it when you travel into it. So what's happened here is my cat's just, <laughs> I'm gonna have to. My cat has just spread my uh, character deck out there. That's good, he wants to pick a card. That's amazing. Thank you for that, hobo. All right, so, um, <coughs> sip a drink. So that's the crash resolution. So what we're doing, gonna compare. I really didn't want this card. I kind of wanted something with just one or two. This is a complete pain. I'm sure I'm missing something here. This seems really hard. Darn. Okay. So uh, we compare if it's higher, if it's not. If combined strength is equal to the combined stage and no progress is made and we don't increase our threat dials, which we are because we on 5-6 compared to 3-4-5-6, so there's no progress made this turn. And as you can see, what's going to go on here is... I'm just gonna have a quick pause and read through the rules. Something seems wrong here, I don't think I can win this. Okay, yeah, we are doing this right. This is gonna be extremely tough. Um, kinda wish I'd committed her now, because at least we'd have made a bit of progress, but yeah, so no progress made. Uh, can't travel to another location, because we've already got one active here, so that's the travel phase done. Encounter phase, uh, it's the same as last time. That has a threat of 25. We 23 and 19, so nothing's going to happen. I'm not going to opportunity engage it. Uh, so, uh, we go straight on to the combat phase uh, now. So, we're going to choose an enemy. It's going to be this forest spider. Uh, declare the defender. Um... We are going to go undefended for this, I feel. Brave. Uh, so we declared the combat, am I? Because if we do, he'll take, whoever's going to do it is going to take two hits. If it was one, I would definitely do it. Yeah, I think we're going to do this undefended, this is going to sound. Uh, so what happens now, all damage is assigned to a single hero. So I'm gonna assign it to Gimli, because he has five hit points. So he's gonna take two. And that is the end of that. So none of my heroes are exhausted now for the attacking phase. Here we go. Uh, oh yeah, I should have moved that over to here for this round, because she would have been the first player. We've done this slightly wrong, darn it. But I'll roll with it for now. I forgot about that. So much to think about. Uh, anyway, terminating attack strength. So we got attack strength of one, two, three, and I'm, I'm going to just do all of them. I'm going all in. So Legolas is ranged. <laughs> Not moving my cards, cat. It's such a best. Uh, it's great having cats. Yeah. So we're gonna. So we're going to go all in. So it's one, two, three, and six. Because he has three, two, and one. So it's six. Against his defense of one. <coughs> so that means he's going to take five points of damage. Which actually kills him. So that is good. So we're going to remove that. Put that in the discard pile. Uh, oh, and I missed that last time. My spearman should have dealt one damage to him after he's declared as a defender. I didn't do that. I don't think that would have affected much for what I want to do here. But anyway, uh, 
or would it? Oh, who cares? I can't be bothered to try and backtrack this. Anyway, after response for Legolas is after Le Legolas participates in an attack that destroys an enemy, place two tokens on the current quest. Now, with location cards, before we can put progress tokens on the quest, this acts as a buffer. So this has two. So you place two tokens here. When you place tokens here, it's complete. We've, we've explored that location. So Legolas will put two tokens here, which I'm not going to do because I'm going to remove them instantly. And now this has been explored. So these are all exhausted, but now we're in the refresh stage where everything gets unrefreshed. I'm going to move the first token player token over here. And we increase our threat by one. So we're getting dangerously near to automatically drawing that spider 25 compared to my 24. Another round, hopefully, do something. This now goes up to 20 on this player. And we go back to the resource pool where each hero gets two resource tokens. And because they're the same, I'm not really going to separate them out anymore. I'm just going to put them in a pile because they're the same resource token. So that's good. So, um, what I'm going to do is for this is am I going to explore anything I am not so I'm not going to commit to a quest um, I am going to go all in with this and I'm going to discard Gonna one oh we haven't drawn new cards. I don't know. Getting ahead of ourselves. So I've got an event called Thicket of Spears. Uh it costs three and you must use you resources from three different hero pools to pay for this card. Well that's ru rubbish because I won't be able to use that, so that's getting discarded instantly whenever I can discard something. Because I only have two heroes. And that's rubbish for me now. And this one is a test of will, which I think cancelled uh, when revealed. So that's useful. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to action, discard a card. So I'm going to do that one to up hers to five. And I'm going to commit going all in, going all in. I feel this is... Six, so uh, five, six, four, five, six, seven. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so we've got seven, and we draw two new cards, which is a treachery. When revealed, each enemy and location currently in stage end gets plus one, but no, because I've just managed to get this. So I'm going to pay the resource token to cancel that out. That's nice. So I seem to be doing, I don't know, okay. Another staging card, which is a location, which is the Mountains of Mirkwood. And it has three. That's horrible. That's so bad. Uh, no, it has two. So let's have a count up now. Now we've done that quest resolution. We have a count up. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh. So that's got uh, an 8 for the threat, and we've got a willpower of 5, 6, 7. So we're going to take 1 damage, which sucks. 1 threat goes with another one. That sucks, but so these are exhausted. But hopefully, what I think is going to happen now is it starts harder than what it progresses, even though you're getting weakened. Because we're on the encounter phase, uh, I'm not going to option engage anything because now my threat is equal to this for the first player. This gets instantly pulled down to attack me, like so. Which means this is now less strong in there by two. Hang on, have we missed a phase? Well, I think we've missed the we've missed the travel phase. We've missed the travel phase. So what we're going to do? Is we are going to travel to a location before combat, but we'll leave that the same. 
and what I want to do is that's got one so that can stay there so I'm gonna be sure I want to travel to really this so let's travel here which is free which is the strongest one which is the necromancer's pass the first player must discard two cards from his hand at random to travel here so let us shuffle my cards even though I've got them all organized nicely and just discard two to travel there at random so we've got rid of a Rohan archer horseback archer and Bjorn oh, he would have been quite handy I think so uh, yeah we're gonna put that in my discard pile so but we've traveled there so what that means is we've only got fresh strength for free now in the staging area so now we're going to carry on with the combat which we've engaged uh, we are going to defend with Gondorian Archer he's going to defend he's going to take take two attacks defend by one and He's going to die, but before he dies, which we didn't do last time's response, after Gondorian Spearman is declared his defender, deal one damage to the enemy. So in his dying strokes, he's going to swipe that like so. And that goes into my discard pile. Now we're going to attack and we're going in all in with Gimli and Legolas. Why not, eh? As well as Gimli gets plus one for each damage token on him so he is really cool at the moment so even though he's got three wounds left he's got two extra hits plus his two which is four plus Legolas is three and so basically it's seven minus defensive one so this thing is now dead but we didn't do the shadow effects so we'll quickly do that and the shadow effect for this, which he did have, is attacking enemy gets plus one. Oh, so the Gondoran Spearman would have really died. But so we just put that, get rid of that, it doesn't affect this. This spider's now dead. And because Legolas was involved, we get to put two progression tokens on the current quest. Now, first time we've managed to do this. So we put two here. And this only has two again to to explore, so we've got rid of that. So we're are we making progress? I don't know. Everything's exhausted now, so refresh phrase. We're going to unexhaust stuff. Increase the threat by six. Stonking ahead, I feel. And then we're going to refresh phase. So as you can see, we are getting slightly stronger as we're going along, getting more stuff I can buy, I guess, hopefully. Uh, take a card. And this is an event. It's called Stand Together. Choose a player. Oh, yeah, we've got to move that to here. So actually, we'll do that in a minute because it should have been this first. <laughs> got to remember that. So it's an attachment. Attach to a location. The location gets minus one threat. Excellent. So that's the power in the earth. So that's good. So I think I'm actually going to play that straight away. Um, I don't think there's any. There's not, you can play more than one card in the planning phase uh, as long as you've got the point thing, the tokens to pay for it. Anyway, yeah. So we've got this one for the other for our tactics. Choose a player. That player may declare any number of these eligible characters as defendants against each enemy attacking him in this phase. Well, that's, I don't understand that because you do that anyway, don't you? Choose a player. Oh, so we can actually get defenders from another player. I think that is what that's saying. So now we're in the resource phase, um, the planning phase. So what I am going to do is choose a location. Attachment gets minus one threat, so that costs one. So we're gonna pay for that straight away from here. And I think we're going to attach it to this because then that goes down to one. What can attach it to that it goes down to zero, but either way, the effects the 
the same. That goes down to... Or do I wait? I think I'm going to hold off for that until we... Yeah, what am I doing? I'm going to hold off for that until we get something a bit stronger. That's not too bad. Okay. Make triggered. Uh, willpower, that's gonna be nice. Um, I might, because this one allows me to return one card from my deck. It's one willpower card, but he's all willpower. So, what I'm going to do is use this, pay for this, to return this when revealed, because that is handy, and we'll keep this for later on. That goes into this card pile now. Uh, Cool, so that's that. Now over to here for the planning phase, I really want to get some allies out. Really wanted to get some allies out. So, the only ally I've got is a horseback archer, which costs three. So I think I'm going to pay for all of those. I'm going to keep this quite low. I still have one left. And get horseback archer on the board. It's range. I've got to find out what range means. I, I, I'm assuming when we get to the combat phase, I should read. Or should I do it now? Let's have a quick read. Combat. Uh, I'm attacking. Is there, is there a glossary of terms? Fancy flight normally do this cool glossary of terms. Or we can look at range 24. Yeah, they do. Uh, Oh, it's just I can attack up things engaged with another player, so that's not too bad. So now we're on the quest resolution phase. So, discard one hand from my deck. I'm going to discard this one because it's choose a hero in the play, which I don't have a dead hero, so I'm going to discard that instantly. And we're going to commit going in full in. So she now has five, six, seven. We've gone full in, hopefully. If we are lucky now, because this only is free, so, what, up, so as long as we get under four, we might be able to bloom and put a progress token on there. Um, okay, so we're going to draw two cards, which is a Dold Gordor Beastmaster. Of course, cool, that's 35, but it has a threat of two. And for the other player, we're going to draw a Forest Spider again. Lots of spiders in Mirkwood, which is also two. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which is Bloom and Draw in it again. Five, six, seven. It's a Bloom and Draw. It's a Bloom and Draw. So we make no progress but take no damage. And these are now exhausted. If I had paid that, <laughs> we could have could have gone. But anyway, now we're gonna travel and obviously gonna travel to this one. Okay, so yeah, travel. Reveal the top card in the encounter deck and add it to the staging area to travel here. Okay, that's cool. So we're gonna travel here because it's got the highest thing and it's Forest Gate. So that was pointless because we're back to <laughs> where we were. Okay, cool. So there's that. That's nice, I think. Yeah, that's that's it. So we're on to the encounter. Uh, that's 35, so that's not gonna affect us for a while. But we're gonna check here, it's when we've got the forest spider, which is not gonna engage to here because it's 22, so it's gonna come down here and engage to me, like so. Um, okay, it has four. So what I'm gonna do here, it's gonna try and attack me, so I'm going to has two attacks, I'm gonna defend with Gimli. Even though he can he's got four attack, he's got strength two, attack two, nothing happens. So that's good. So now I'm going to attack the forest spider with both Legolas, who has three, my Rohan Archer, which has two, he defends by one, and so it does four damage and takes him out. 
Again, because of Legolas, this Legolas gets to put two quest tokens on the current quest. In the, our case, the Mountains of Mirkwood. Okay, and now we are on to the free refresh phase. We're going to unexhaust all our characters. I really want to get an ally out from this from this hand, so I can increase increase my will and my spirit deck. Anyway, increase that. Our threat's going up quite quickly as we're speeding through this, and I become the first player token. Uh, it's the Going back to the beginning, get two tokens each. So this this pool here is just really building up. I don't know if you can see this. It's really building up, so I'm not getting anything worthwhile out of here. This one's decreasing. Anyway, what do we get? We get Gandalf! Yay! After Gandalf enters play, choose one, draw three cards, deal four damage to one enemy play, or reduce your threat by five. But it costs five to get out. It's Gandalf, so he's going to be well useful, I feel. Please be an ally, please be an ally, it's an event. It's called Stand and Fight. Choose an ally with printed cost of X in the player's discard pile. Put that ally into play control and do your player. Yeah, that's cool. Choose an ally with the printed cost of X. Oh, I don't have any allies with printed cost of X. Okay, that's probably gonna get discarded straight away if there's anything I need to discard. So now on to the planning phase. <coughs> Is there anything I can do? Well, I've got cancel, wing reveal, cancel shadow, choose now engage your player and return to the staging area. There aren't any enemies in there. Um, I think I've got an option engage this, get this out. Uh, and that's it, so there's nothing I can do there. Is there anything I can do here? Can't pay for Gandalf. Uh, that's going to be rubbish. I want to discard that. I'm going to put that just here. So do you mind if I can, is anything on? Uh, choose, an, choose an exhaust the character you control to immediately declare it as an attacker and resolve its attack against an enemy target. Choose a character until the end of the phase. Oh, that could be good to pay. Okay, each uh, 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 uh. Uh, you must choose for you. That's that one again. These I've got two of these figures of spears. If I want to discard if I'm like, right. So this could be handy. Let's plan ahead. He has an attack of three, so I'd need to defend. Attack of three. But he only has a defense. That's quite tough. No, so we're not gonna pay for anything this round. Right, so uh, uh, hmm. Okay, this is this is getting tough. Um, <clears throat> five, or uh, so, uh, yeah. Let's commit these. Discard a card. So that's going to be this. She goes up to five. She has six, seven. And so far we got five in there. So what I want is to keep that low. So we've got forest gate again. It's five, six, seven. So we're drawing. So hopefully, uh, forced. We've got one of these, six, seven. So, oh, this has gone terribly. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine against seven. So we lose by two. This is okay. This is ugh, horribly tough. Optional engagement checks. Uh, there's nothing in there. So, uh, uh, I, but I do want to pull one of these down. I think. Yeah, I'm going to pull one of these down to attack here. Nothing else get pulled down, so into combat. Monster attacks first as free. So, and five. So I think. So 
I think I'm going to defend with Gimli. Whereas right, defense of two, so he's going to take another wound. I can't do that much longer because he's only got two left. But now we are going to attack back with Legolas and Rohan, who just seem to be awesome for attacking. Uh, combined strength of five, which kills him. And of course, when that happens, we place two progress tokens on here. So that gets it free. Put one there. <laughs> We've made some sort of progress. Yes, 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 yes. At the end of the phase, we turn our threat up. I am stonking up here with my this one here. He's on 30 already. 26. We move this over. Now it's the refresh phase. Good, good, good. I'm gonna get two tokens. This resource pool is great. I can't be able to do something with this pool soon. Okay. Now onto planning stage. Uh, no, wait a minute. Got to draw a card first. An ally! Yay! We have a Lothlorien guide. After the guide commits to a quest phase, place one token on the active location, which we don't have at the moment, but next round that could be good. And that's what's done us in so far. We've been, our questers have been quite low. So now we'll draw one from here. Please be an ally. Armour. Uh, yes. So what's going to happen is this gets the attached to a hero. Attached hero gets four plus hit points. So we're going to pay for that straight away in a minute once it's their turn and we'll stick it on Gimli. So he'll have. He's got two left, so he'll have six hit points, which is good. So, um, are we going to pay for anything here? Oh, yeah, we are. We're going to pay for her instantly so to get her out. I put her there. So that's what we're going to do here. She's in play. Flooring guide and what else do I this only has a threat of two I mean do I try and just attach this to it and reduce this now so we'll one two three four five six seven already and it goes down to six do I hang off I think we're gonna hang off but we're definitely paying this for and attaching this the giblet. Totally. Like so. So that's nice. Alright. Quest committing time. I think we're just gonna have to go all in. Uh discard one card from your hand. Uh I don't have much. Ah, I'm gonna discard this one. Get plus one. This hand's not that big. So she has five, six. Seven, eight, versus, versus seven. So we can't afford to get, oh, what, seven already? So we've got Hummer Horns. So we're up to seven. So we won't take any damage. And the Mountains of Mirkwood again, threat of two. So we take two threat damage. I'm only going to play to one of these gets eliminated rather than carrying on. Probably <laughs> this one here, 18. So there we go. Um, so now what we're going to do is we are going to travel to a location. Uh, travel, what's the travel? We don't want to do that one. Travel on this one here. Yes, we're going to travel here which is the forest gate, which is actually quite a nice travel because the response is after you travel to the forest gate, the first player may draw two cards, which is nice because that's what we want for her because as we just said, her hand's not very big, our willpower, and we get strength of will. After you travel to a uh, location, exhaust the character, to place two crow tokens on the location. That could be fun. Which I can't do because these are all exhausted now. Uh, after, after Northern Tracker, and we've got a Northern Tracker. After the Nor oh, it's an ally. Excellent. So that's four. So we're definitely going to pay for this because after Northern Tracker commits to a quest, place one 
progress token on each location in the staging area. Ah, oh, so it's going to weaken the travel down. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do next time. Win the combat phase. I'm not going to do any optional engagement checks, so these can stay here. Uh, it's combat time. I thought we killed this last time. We killed this last time, didn't we? I didn't move it onto the... We did. Sorry, I'm... did we? Because I thought it was five to be... Yeah, we did. We killed this. Why is that? I should have put that in the discard pile. Sorry. So maybe I will put it in here. What is this? This is... Has a threat cost of 40. Jesus. After forced... After humming horns engage you, deal five damage to a single hero. What does forced mean? Does that mean if I pull it down? I don't want that. What does forced mean? 23. Force cards initiate by specific occurrences throughout a game and occur automatically when the card's controller wants them to enforce that trigger and these guys. Okay. And no, I'm going to immediately, whenever they whenever their specified prerequisite occurs. Oh, after it engages you, so we're not going to engage him ever. Ever. Otherwise that will kill me. Um Okay, do I want to pull this down to try and weaken this by two? I don't know. I'm at a loss now. Um I don't know. Oh this is It'll be the same as last time where it attacks by three. Give me so it give me takes. I think I am. We're gonna have a repeat of last time. It's the only way we're gonna get through this. I'm gonna put these back here because these are these are exhausted. There's nothing to engage this, so we're going over here. Uh, yeah, Gimli's gonna go in and he's gonna go in for one. So he has five hit points left because he's lost all these ones here that he's gained, so he's going to be exhausted. And now we're going in for the attack. So Legolas gets three, he gets five, minus one, four, so he dies. Remember to put it in that way this time. We get to put two quest tokens on here, so we get to put them on this forest path. Like so, I'm doing so bad. I feel I am doing so bad. Um, okay. Um, drink, refresh. We're gonna unexhaust. Unexhaust. Dial's up by one. I become the first thing. Uh, I actually forgot what phase one's called. Uh, resource. We have two of these. These oh, there's massive allies in here. Okay, let's draw a card. Pull of an axe item attached to a hero. Attached hero gains plus one attack, plus two instead if an attached is a dwarf. That could be interesting. How many attachments can I have to a hero? Is it just one? Is it just one? Or is it one of each type? Like an item, a weapon? Just have a quick look. Attach attachment cards. Cards represent going to do. When played, uh, mm -hmm. when played, they always attach player. Uh, another one. It doesn't say. It doesn't say, but Gimli's my defender anyway, so... 
It has two attack. So if I attach it, it'd be free. I'm going to I'm going to attach it actually to Legolas. Uh, attach your hero. So it's going to be. He's going to gain plus one. So he's going to attack with four now. So that's nice. Hey, that's right. And now over to here. Please be an ally. Yes, it's another northern tracker. So hopefully we can. Uh, we're definitely going to pay for one of these now. Three, four. So we're going to pay for a northern tracker. The northerners are great. So we're going to do that. Like so. Which is awesome. And now we are going to. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're up to six. And we got. One, eight. So at the moment we've got six in the staging area and I can do eight. Uh, uh, okay, so I don't know whether to pay for this now and reduce that to five. I think makes sense to me. Yes, yeah, so I'm actually going to do that. I'll reduce that so it goes down to five. And then we're going all in. Going all in, people, with these. So I'm not going to move them because that'll get on my nerves each, each time. But I could discard. I don't have many cards to discard, so I'm not actually going to pay for her. I'm not going to use her action, which is discard one card, because cards I've got are quite handy at the moment, so I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to draw one card each. Oh, that doesn't look good. Ungoliant spawn. Um, can I? Is there? Can I? Uh, oh, I think I've gone wrong here. Yes, this is a when revealed. Oh, this is terrible. So I'm going to have to pay for this, otherwise each player gets minus one. Each character gets minus one, so that would be minus four total. So I'm going to discard that, discard this, and now how power that I said was massive, not massive. Uh, I don't discard that, do I? That doesn't get discarded, but when revealed, gets ignored. I feel I'm going to get my butt kicked here. And King Spider, each player must choose to exhaust one character he controls. Well, they're all exhausted because they're committed. Uh, oh, 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 Archer. Oh, this has gone horrifically wrong. So we are going to travel now. Go to the, oh, we can't travel because we've already traveled. Oh, I feel I've gone wrong. I feel I've gone terribly wrong, it's gone horribly wrong. We are not winning this. This is. I must miss. Must have missed a rule out that I'm playing it wrong because this just that's just constantly growing. Next turn, that's going to be so big. Do you draw one card for each hero? I can't. And they and it is always the stage now. It's always after players had an opportunity to commit character credits. Encounter deck reveals one card per player. And then the crest resolution is compare the willpower strength of all commit characters against the combined strength of all characters in the stage area. Yeah, so it is. This gate this just gets harder and harder. Right, okay. I, I'm gonna for this, because it's going on a bit and I don't seem to get anyone. I'm gonna play this turn and then two more, and then I think I'm going to end it and do the review think so yeah okay so let's so what we got now is we got one five six seven eight okay first eight and in here we got 
1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we go up by 2. We've lost by 2. Oh, that's terrible. Okay. Don't travel. Combat It's going to be... I've exhausted that. Uh, anything 35. So... What, what goes on now is things are going to engage us now. Uh, this is where it gets really tough. That's going to pull down to me as it's the highest. That's going to engage me automatically. And that's going to come down to here and attack these. I missed that. Should have kept an eye out for that. Now, uh, want to combat now. Um, so I'm going to have to defend with Gimli. It has nine. It has nine. Ah. Okay. Uh, so it has attacks with five. Oh, no. I actually don't think I'm going to actually play it. Okay. Attacks with five. Defense two. That's exhausted. I'm going to have to defend all in. I'm not going to be able to even attack it. Um, okay, oh, that's tough. So it's I have a defensive three, tactic five, so it takes another two. So I'm gonna put them on Legolas. Uh, move over to here. Everyone's undefended. Oh. So it attacks for three, and so. I'm going to lose my Lothlorien guide. Oh, this is horrible. Right, I... I a threat goes up. I actually think, because I don't know if I'm playing this right, but I, let's do two more turns. Let's, let's carry on see how far we get. But, right, this is going well. I think it, this might help if I had other players with more eyes paying attention to things. That might help. Uh, I'm exhaust all characters. I've now got this Unger Lion spawn on me. Oh, okay. Goes over here. <laughs> this has gone horrifically wrong. Uh, I take two of these. Two of these. They get a card, which is a hasty stroke, cancel shadow effect, just trigger joint combat. I've already got one of them. So we might be able to do something. I'm gonna cry. Uh, swift strike, after a character is declared as defender, deal two damage to the attacking enemy. And that would have been good. See, I, the thing is, I'm not paying attention to my cards. I feel there would have been something in here that may have been useful but I don't think there is so there's that uh, yeah I'm gonna commit to the quest I'm gonna discard one of these so she goes up to five hopefully so they're all committed so someone's gonna get killed um, uh, stage and area and time now uh, we have when we build the first player must choose can't commit any character can deal two damage to that character. Do I have a Ren revealed a shadow effect? Nope, I don't. So what is it? Two damage. So that's going to be my Northern Tracker. Oh, these cards are really hard. These cards are all really high. Where's I just want loads of them in here with one. Uh, when revealed, uh, deal one damage to each exhausted character. Oh, that's there exhausted, so that means that's dead. <laughs> now, which is great, that means it's not going in to the committed quest. I'm you can see you can probably hear the defeat in my voice as I'm playing this. Uh, because now we have oh that's treachery, so that goes in here. Wait, can I is there a, do I have anything that can do anything against no, and I've been forgetting to do shadow effects during combat, I've just realised, so that would have made it even worse. So anyway, let's 
do the end of this phase and we're gonna die. Uh, so we have one, five, six against one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we do, <laughs> I haven't done anything. Oh my goodness, combat. So first player's threat is 33. So that's gonna come down and attack her. So that means she now has two things attacking her over here. Nothing's gonna attack here, so we're doing combat. And I'm actually gonna leave it there. I think this has gone horrendously wrong. Everyone's gonna die. This is tough. I think I would love to play this game again with other players because there's so much I'm trying to keep an eye on as a single player. I uh, yeah, I think we're gonna end it there. It was it's been fun hard but fun anyway guys if you do want to see any more of this played let us know in the comments and we'll try and get a group of us to play it it might make it more interesting give me a bit of a chop but give us plans a bit more of a chance yeah let us know in the comments if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe we're gonna have loads more great videos hit the notification bell as well to uh, let you know when we're uploading content which is quite a regular thing but anyway guys thanks for watching until next time take care Thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button and leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Stick with the channel for many great videos to come.